Okay, so number 10, we have a velocity vector. We want to write it as a column vector. And I know I have a boat traveling at this speed in this direction. So I don't have the velocity vector for the boat. The river is flowing at 10 kilometers per hour in this direction. I also don't have the velocity vector for the river. So if I look at A, in order to find, I'm going in this direction, but I don't know how long it is. If it's 10, then it is perfectly the velocity vector. But I'm going to find the magnitude of 2, 3, which means it's going to be 3 squared plus 2 squared, which is going to be 9 plus 4 is the square root of 13. So if I take my vector, 2, 3, and I divide it by the square root of 13, this is now a unit vector. It has a length of 1 in the direction of 2, 3, but I want it to be, have a length of 10, so I multiply it by 10. And this is what we'll call our vector. It's the river vector. Okay, and so now B part is saying, find the component of the water's velocity act in the direction the boat is traveling. Well, let's say here is my river. Oh, let me do it in black since I am using black for river. So here is my river. And my boat, let's make my boat purple. So here is my boat. Here is my boat doing something like this. And so I'm asked to find how much is the river contributing or the component that's added in this direction? How much is it going here? Okay, so if I go down perpendicularly, here's an angle theta between them. I'm looking for this green vector here. How much is that? Well, if I think about this, this is, I know that I have my r vector and I have my purple boat vector. And I'm looking for, let's say, my green vector. And so what I know is that my green vector will be equal to r cosine of theta. It's equal to the r cosine of theta will be the length of my green vector because it's adjacent and I can get in this scenario here. Now, I don't know theta, that's my problem. So if I come along and I multiply it by my b vector, top and bottom, then I know that I have r b cosine of theta over magnitude of b. Well, this is just the dot product of r dot b over the magnitude of b. And if I work with this, I know that r is 10 square root of 13, 2, 3, times b vector. I don't actually know yet, because I know this is the magnitude and this is the direction. So I need to find the actual velocity vector of the boat. And so if I get the magnitude of this vector here, that's going to be uh, 4 squared plus 1 squared which is square root of 17. And so my actual b vector is going to be for 1 divided by the root of 17. So now it's a length of 1 times it by 7. So now it has a length of 7. So it's 7 square root of 17 for 1 divided by the magnitude of b. The magnitude of b is 7. And so what I can do here, if I do some fancy arithmetic here, I know that I can cancel these 7s. And I'm going to then, one of the tricks I can do is I can pull these factors out. So it's going to be 10 over the square root of 13 times the square root of 17. And then I'm going to go 2, 3, dot, 4, 1. If I do the actual dot product, I get 8 plus 3 is 11. And if I do this calculation, if I do that, I'm going to end up with, uh, I'm going to go 110 divided by the square root. Oh, 
the square root of 13 times 17, which will give me 77.40 is the correct value to three significant figures with the zero there. So that's how much is going in the direction, the green vector in the direction of the boat. Now it wants to know the component of the water's velocity acting perpendicular to the direction of the boat, which is traveling. Well, that just means we're looking now for this value here. And this is going to be our sine of theta. And so doing the same idea, I know that this value here, which we'll call a vector, a vector, the magnitude, is going to equal to well, I'll go through this derivation. Just It's going to be the cross product. It's going to be uh, r cross b over the magnitude of b. And I also want the magnitude because I want it to be the length of that vector. And so now I have to actually do r cross b. And again, here is my r and here is my b. And what I can do is I can pull these out again. I can pull out the 10 over root 13 times 7 over root 17. And then I'm going to cross 2, 3. Now that's a 2 by, I put a 0 and it means I can cross product a 3 by 3. Cross it by a 4, 1, 0. And this will be divided again by b which is 7. Doing the cross product now, um, well let me just simplify here a little bit, that 7 will go away and so I have 10 over square root of 13 square root of 17 and this vector what I'm going to get, I'm going to do the x values, I'm going to go 0 minus 0, I get 0. My y values are going to be 0 minus 0. I get 0. And then finally my k values are going to get 2 minus 12. 2 minus 12 is negative 10. So I want the magnitude of this vector. Well that magnitude is going to be 10 times 10 over root 13 over root 17 which will be, if I come back to my calculator, if I go back I go back there we go I get hundred divided by that and I end up with six point seven three kilometers per hour is what the is perpendicular to the river.